back with our next project guys. This one's called the slab technique. You're going to need various colored clay. You'll need twice the slab base as all your other colors. A rolling pin, a sharp tool, skewer or toothpick, and either one of your tools or a ruler for cutting. Don't forget guys to condition your Take the largest amount of clay, roll it around, then squish it down onto your flat surface. Take your rolling pin and roll out. A good trick for getting rid of bubbles is to make sure that you continuously roll your clay in the same direction. So instead of back and forth, rolling, pick up, rolling, pick up. Pick up your clay and turn it over. Each time you roll, this will help prevent it stopping from sticking to your surface. Once you're happy with the thickness, of your slab, we can start adding some accent pieces. These are little decorations made out of our extra coloured clay. I'm going to show you how to make some flower designs. To create a leaf, take some green clay, roll it into a snake, and then simply pull off some tiny pieces, roll it between your fingers gently and flatten it down. Then place onto your slab. Now that your leaves are ready, you can place them anywhere you like. Take your roller and very gently and lightly just squash them into your clay. Taking one of your sharp tools, you can then create lines into your leaves by pressing in. Next, I'm going to make some petals. Exactly the same technique as we use for the leaves. Make your snake. Then pull off sections a little bit bigger than your leaves. And roll out. We're going to then place them. Five petals onto the middle of our design. Now that each of my petals is in place, I'm going to gently roll and then take my pointy skewer and just add some little lines to give my flower some texture and a bit of a 3D effect to make it look more real so that those petals look like they have little creases. I'm then going to take a ball of white, place it in the centre of my flower, push down and place some light gentle dots. Now that my design is complete, take any of your tools or even a sharp object. If you have a shape cutter, you can create maybe a love heart or a circle for a pendant. I'm going to create a diamond for this shape. Pick up your shape once it's cut. Make sure you smooth out the edges. 
Make sure you don't roll your clay out too thinly. I'll take my pointy skewer, make a hole. Leaving a good amount of room on each side of the hole. Going back through the other side. And there we have a pendant ready to put on a necklace after it's been baked. Once you've baked in the oven, use some pliers to attach a jump ring through that hole you can pop on some cord or a chain and your beautiful flower necklace is ready to wear.